Monty is starting this Arabian on his first saddle and rider. He did this over just a few days. He talked to us about the importance of using our body language and our voice and our energy to communicate with the horse. Also how to read the body language from the horse, how to really have good safe interaction with the horse. And yeah, it's his first day in that. So this is Ada Gates and she taught us a bit about how to check if a horse is shooed correctly but also what body language to look for if the horse is comfortable and walking properly. This is Jamie Jennings demonstration. This whole event is a little bit of a love letter to thoroughbreds and taking care of them and Jamie was fantastic and the horse she's working with is fantastic as well. Such a gorgeous mare. It was a really interesting demo. Mark Bolander had so many things to say. I think my favorites were the fact that he believes in having the horse have confidence in their training before we add a rider onto their back. He also talked about if a horse is not moving off your leg if you cannot direct their direction, they're not safe in any discipline or on any trail. So that was really important. He had a lot of really great things to teach. Highly recommend him. So day two for this guy. I think today is first rider. Yep. He's also going to do double lines. This mimics reins and helps teach the horse good self-carriage and turning and direction. So Monty's methods are all about nonviolence, and one of the things he's famous for is trailer loading without fuss and without drama. Horses that won't trailer will trailer for him. He is logical about this. What he does works. He also makes it a very comfortable experience for the horse and that's why you see success after success after success with Monty and trailer loading. If you want the lessons you can always go to their university and look them up. But yeah, trailer loading should not be dramatic. It shouldn't. The horses should just go in. That's really, that's really just how we want that to go. And Monty's really great at teaching about that. So this is the Mark Bolander Mountain Trail course. They use this also in their equine therapy programs that they have at the farm with firemen and first responders. You get a horse and you go over obstacles together. It's really cool, amazing thing. If you get the chance, you should try it. But one of the reasons to do it is because horses don't usually fall if it's just them on their own four feet. So when we teach them these obstacles and they get to see it and they get to build their confidence, they don't lose it. Unless you make them lose it. But, you know, four years later, somebody could probably take this horse over the same obstacle. And if this horse is confident and comfortable, they'll be okay with it. I thought this was a really good demonstration. I think it's really undervalued like you don't always have to ride your horse to teach them things there are things that we ride for and there's other things where it's like actually it makes sense to start from the ground it makes sense to get the horse comfortable with this on the ground you know we only get one spine so this is the new baby at the farm a very small equine or miniature horse these are very commonly used in equine therapy and they're fantastic Show you some energy. So this thoroughbred is a racehorse. She is very sensitive and that's why Monty chose her for the demo. We actually got to watch horses with a few different personalities go through. Some that were more uh, more resistant, others like this one that are very sensitive and have a very high amount of energy. He also talked to us a bit more about thoroughbreds breeding them more responsibly, taking care of them more responsibly, things we can do to improve the racing industry and the transitional careers of thoroughbreds. It was very educational and honestly it's just beautiful to see some of these beautiful horses get ready for their second job. 
that's as nice as it gets. So I don't have much footage from Helena Harris's amazing barn presentation, but just so you know, it's innovative. It's incredible. She has a podcast. I'm going to link it for you below. They are building a state-of-the-art facility at that $12 million farm down in California, and I'm really excited to watch it grow over the next few years.